Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Today we're continuing with our angel number series and today we're going to talk about angel number 2023. So for those of you that see 2023, what does that mean? Well, it's basically all about cooperation and diplomacy, uh, consideration for others. I found that very interesting when I started really thinking about the two numbers. It is talking about cooperation, working well together. When you're seeing this number, it's giving you a little hint to be more conscious of your actions, to be more thoughtful, to be more courteous, to be more unselfish. So I'm gonna read, because I always write my notes when I do my numbers, and I'm gonna read a little bit of what I had written. Um, the number two brings diplomacy, cooperation, consideration, and it means life's purpose and soul mission. Uh, start thinking about that. Start being a better person. How do you want to be perceived by others? It's very interesting. It's one thing to have your, you know, your dream, but how are you inspiring others? This is what 2023 means. It's giving you a little jolt to not only be your best self with you, but with others. And this is why I like this number. The number zero means eternity and infinity. Oneness with whole, okay? So it's basically your best self all in one. This is the number that it's talking about. Counting cycles, flow, beginning point, and stands for choice. You do have a choice to how you see things, but also how you're going about things. This is very interesting. So as many times as we have our aspirations and our dreams, how are we going to go about them? This is a time to be very, very conscious of how you're going to go about how you want to do whatever it is you want to do. All right. Number three, it relates to self-expression communication, enthusiasm, and expansion. Again, this is the time to whatever it is you've wanted to do, now's the time to do it in a big, big way. But how are you going to be your best at it? Don't be that selfish. Think about it. Like in other words, if you've got a good, good dream and, and a thought and how you want to get this out, think about it as you need other people to help you. You know, my husband, he was always self-employed and he had about 30 people that worked with him. And he never ever would introduce his employees as he works for me. He would always say he works with us. And I always remembered just that little choice of words instead of for, it's a with. That's what I guess I'm talking about with this particular number. Whatever your goal is, whatever you see yourself doing, do it in a way where you realize that you will need the help, uh, you will build on it, get the right people to help you, but treat them the way you wanna be treated. Okay, it's very interesting. In other words, let the ego go. This is very interesting as far as when you wanna do something. You know, be open to humility, be humble. This is very, very important, okay? So work with your highest desires and aspirations. This is what this number is telling you. You can do whatever it is you set your mind to, but do it with humility, do it with openness, open yourself up to the possibilities, listen to what other people maybe could do for you in, in this new project that you're willing to, to foresee or facilitate, okay? Don't think negative. Don't be afraid of doing whatever it is you do that it's not going to facilitate. You have to have an open mind. So if it means reaching out to people, you cannot do everything great. You can't. You know, I always say this, computer-wise I can text and I can email, but am I creative with the computer world? No, <laughs> I'm not. And I'm lucky enough to have people by my side that helps me do that. You know, I always say understanding your strength is understanding your weakness. So remember that. If you can't do it, find the people that can help you and have you form up to your highest self because that's what this is about. 
So I wanted to say that. It symbolizes intuition, interwisdom, inter when you listen to your feelings. Because of your awareness to what you feel and you notice your decision making to be right and safe, you are where you're supposed to be. All that is happening in divine time and divine order. So basically, what does that mean? When you realize your strengths, you go about it. But it's nice to facilitate strong people, creative people, to help that dream manifest into not a dream, but a reality. So when you think of 2023, it is really an awakening to saying, hey, it's time for you to do it, but seek out the necessary help that you need to really make this a reality for you. Okay, so I hope this has enlightened you. I love this number. All these numbers tell us a story. Remember that. And the story it's trying to tell us at the right time, at the right place. So are all the numbers the same? Absolutely not. It's timing. And when you can get the timing right, everything else flows and falls into place. So when you get these little tidbits of numbers, it's actually giving you the next step in how to go about it, how to foresee it. And this is really going to help you. So for all the angel loving number people, they're very real. Con continue to really pay attention to them because it is universe and our lovely angels trying to relate these beautiful messages to us. So until next time, I hope this has helped you, enlightened you. Uh, more to come. Subscribe to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and you will get everything that will help you. Until then, have a really great week. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.